Well, looks like Christmas came early. We have this nice big box here. It says from Santa, but it's actually from BMR. This is my early Christmas present for the Mustang. So let's go ahead and dive into this. This should be the first one that's actually been filmed and uh, hopefully you guys will find a lot of value in this. This will help you out with your installation. I'm gonna walk you through the product, what we're about to show you, why you should have it, the features and benefits, all of it. Look at this. This is the BMR 762 kit for independent rear suspension to help combat wheel hop and all of that. This is like the final thing that you should have. We're just going right for the big stuff. You know, we're gonna do vertical links and all of that later on, but I really wanted to showcase this nice product here. And it does so much more, so much more than actually reducing wheel hop. That's actually not the main purpose of this kit. And I'm gonna explain why that is, why you need it, of course. This is great. So everything is nicely packaged. I'm just unboxing all of this, these nice beefy arms here. Let's talk about the product before we actually do the install because this is very, very important and why you need to spend about 200 bucks or whatever this thing costs to buy this, especially over some of the other brands. Like uh, I know that Stita makes their stop the hop kit. This is substantially better. So I'm not trying to offend anybody at Stita. I'm just saying BMR may have won up to you there um, and made a better product. All right, so you get all of this inside of the package. Hardware, your two long arms, your two back pieces, these giant washers here, and of course instructions. Um, we're gonna try to make this as detailed as possible. So right to the point, why do you need this? All right, so with the S550 chassis, we are all familiar with wheel hop. There's several different ways, several different companies that you can go with and products that you, that you can choose to, to run with to combat wheel hop. So if you have an S550 Mustang, then you are going to be very familiar with wheel hop. It is something that we are all plagued with, even the Magna Ride cars in the 18 and 19s. There are several different companies, several different products that you can use to combat wheel hop, um, but this kit does quite a bit more than just get rid of it 100% uh, in combination with some of BMR's other products, which I'm going to touch on at a fair value. But this, I think, in combination with like their CB010 kit from BMR, which I'm currently running, or the CB005 kit, uh, this is like the end all be all for rigidity to strengthen and make your IRS cradle itself, the actual cradle, the metal itself, more rigid. This does so much more than any other company and what they have produced. This is the kit that you wanna buy. We're going to install it. We're gonna get under the car. We're gonna show you the mounting points, why you should buy it, everything. But as far as the cradle itself and the movement that you get from the factory, gone with this kit. I'm excited, let's go. This is why you have BMR jacking rails. Put the thing right in the center and it lifts the entire car like this. Makes it so much easier. Yep, found my motivation right there. Monster, because that's what this is about to be. As far as the rear end goes, it's going to be a monster. All right, if my audio goes back and forth, it's because I got a GoPro in my head and I've got the camera over here. But Two different audio sources. I'm gonna try to blend it as much as possible, but I want this to be a detailed video. So here we go. 21 millimeter. All right, let's get to it. All right, now what I'm gonna do first is crawl up under here. It's gonna be really bad lighting, but I wanna disconnect and lower my exhaust just a little bit. So use a 13 millimeter to do it. Exhaust hangers, get them free. Just exhaust hang loose. It'll be fine. Just let it down gently. It's okay. Slide out. All right, so as mentioned before, we do have the zero, one zero kit. You can see the, the spacers here and then down there. 
and then the same with the rear there and these are important too because they really isolate these uh, bolts here going up into your subframe and don't allow for any flex so you see where this metal actually comes into contact with it, the cradle uh, there itself it won't rock back and forth so it really really does a phenomenal job um, with just this like basically a hundred dollar kit. So the CB010 kit um, is, is definitely something you need to buy. Um, check out my video descriptions if you want discount promo codes. I do offer them uh, through BMR, their actual website. So you got to go through bmrsuspension.com to be able to do that. Use promo code Xander7. Very, very important. It will save you a ton of money. I know everybody has their discount codes, but I've worked with BMR to actually get you some more off. Uh, so very very cool. So here's this back piece and how this is gonna work I've got the wrong side here, but we're gonna loosen up these back bolts holding the sway bar in place and then This is gonna mount underneath all of that and it's gonna be bolted there and then back there as well Onto the cradle itself. So you're gonna get zero movement zero movement from that bolt because it's going to be locked in 100% right there and then the same up here you got three points of contact up there and then you got this back here plus the 010 kit so I know this is a lengthy video but I'm trying to keep it as informative as possible I really do think that this kit is going to be worth its weight in gold for you know barely any money at all for what it's going to offer and uh now let's dig into actually how to take all of this apart. It's pretty simple. If you want to see, I'm going to breeze through it, honestly. But if you want to see a very detailed video on how to do the 010 kit and remove these IRS bolts, because you don't have to do them in order. You do not have to drop the whole thing down, you know, the whole IRS cradle, none of that. Uh, I have another video out. I'll link it above. It's very, very detailed and it covers quite a bit. So to save time for the rest of the video, we're going to breeze through it. It should be simple. All right, so here we go. 18 millimeter, I'm going to loosen here. Pull these bolts out, set them to the side. A lot of guys actually go to Ford and they rebuy these bolts, and you probably should. They're kind of the one time use thing only, but I've always reused them in the past, never been an issue. But uh, anyway, whenever we do lowering springs, which is gonna come, um, you know, maybe I'll do that and we'll replace all the bolts, but we're going to undo that uh, Your back shock here Pull this out. You don't really have to take the sway bar or anything apart You don't need to take mess with your end links or any of that It's all just going to drop free But you got to take this loose and then we're going to crawl up underneath the car and get rid of some of the other stuff All right, just to be safe. Let's get this guy loose. It's a 13 Lose our bolts. Just let that hang. Should be fine. All right, we were good to go there. Let's get the other side. All right, so what I'm going to do is get all this stuff loose, and then we can do one side at a time. That way, you don't really mess with your alignment too much. Of course, you probably should align this, but we're going to do spring soon, so I'm just going to roll with it, and then we'll do it all at once. All right, there we go. Subframe bolts. You always know, torque these 129 pound feet. So they're really in there. So that's a 21 millimeter here. And then for the front on this plate, they're going to be 13. On the back side, same way. Just get it loose. snug there we go all right next thing we need to do is tackle the rear here so this is going to slide up in position like that and you have your holes to the inside and then the sway bar is going to go underneath right there that mounting plate for the sway bar and it's going to all tie back together pretty simple all right so the kit comes with some flat washers, but if you already have the CB005 or the 010 kit, you reuse uh, these pieces, these washers in place of that to go back 
up here like that. Okay, so once you have everything loose under here, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang this, which I've already got done with the one of the supplied bolts. You get your arm and then you have your long bolt here. The way the instructions say, take your sleeve and then shove it up inside of the cradle here. And it's a pretty precise fit, but it will go. There we go. Just let that sit there. Take your gold washer, put it on top of the bolt. And then you're gonna feed this thing through. Now what I'm gonna do is just lower this over here. Just make life easy, get that started. Like that. This might be easier with a buddy. I'm gonna throw this one back in there just a little bit. So now I can throw the bolt on the top of the cradle there. Put my other gold washer on top of that. And then you're going to take your gold nut, thread it in there a little bit so it'll hold in place. You hard to tell, but I'm going to, I'm going to tighten this up, tighten this up, and I'm going to, this center plate right here in the center of this arm can bend a little bit once you put this plate back on and it will be a tight fit. Take an 18 millimeter wrench, put it on top back here. I know this is very hard to see, but an 18 millimeter impact and just get it kind of tight. Take this plate and I'm gonna start putting this back together just a little bit. Leave it loose. Thread it in there just a little bit. Tighten it up a little bit. You want to use your supplied gold bolts. So now I need to pry this a little bit a little bit there we go all right once you get everything lined up and you get the back done just take it slow everything i need to stress about this kit is everything is very precise it can be very finicky take your time don't stress out too much um you know it doesn't need to be as complex as a header install but you know try to stay with these steps and just take your time you'll be all right All right, and that is all she wrote. That's how it looks. So you got it bolted there. It goes underneath the cradle plate there. And then it goes back here. And this is where you're gonna see some flex. All right, so as we step back here and we take a peek at it. So oh, we already have the CB001 kit. That's that piece and that piece. That's their starter kit. And it is included with the CB005. Now, if you had the 005 kit, it would include those and then it would have this long arm here, which you can use as a jacking point, and it replaces this cradle plate. But maybe not necessary, especially when you, you stack it with the 762 kit, which I've done here, and you can see that it actually goes all the way through the subframe, and that is where you get a lot of flex. You get a lot of movement right here in this area, and then also in the rear. So when we look at the rear here, this also is included in the CB005 and the 001 kit. Now, if you don't have any of this, you can certainly run just this kit alone, the 762 kit, and it would come with a different plate here, which I showed you. And it doesn't have this long arm here on each side, which doesn't allow it to rock back and forth. But since I already have it, it works perfectly. And you're gonna have zero movement out of this because it bolts back up here, as you can see. That's how all that looks. So there's no way that you're gonna have even any movement. It's gonna eliminate all of that that you'd have with the rubber bushings. Um, this thing is gonna be bulletproof for sure. This is what you would need if you're running serious power, which we're gonna do on this car. The fit and finish is completely awesome. I mean, I don't know that you could ask for anything more, but you've got three points of contact there in the front that ties in that, that subframe. And then in the rear, you basically have two points of contact. So all together, you got five on each side points of contact, it's nuts. Now, when we compare this product to other companies, 
they don't bolt in the same positions okay uh, I know that Stita goes from back here to back somewhere on the IRS cradle and then it bolts into this cradle plate which is really not the, the place that you, I think that you'd want to do it right here in this stamped steel uh, BMR is actually going up here on the actual body of the car which is just what they should have done to begin with, I think. But, you know, every company's different. There's certainly nothing wrong with Stita. Everybody's running them. But I've never seen anything like this in the rear where it just locks it all down completely. I mean, when they say that the combination of their products eliminates uh, near 100% from BMR, I, I can definitely see how this would be possible. This is a fantastic kit, I think, at a fantastic value. You know, all together, uh, MSRP, you're looking at about 100 bucks for the 001 kit. And then with the 762, that's another 200 bucks, I think it is, something like that. So you're looking at about $300. So it's something important, too, because I've seen this in online threads. Can you run the CB005 kit uh, with the 762? And yes, because it would just mount right here alongside of this bracket here. And we may do that in the future just to kind of you know, spice things up a little bit because the 005 kit also has a centering sleeve on the top of where it mounts right here and replaces this. Uh, so that would definitely, definitely firm things up. Maybe just that much more, but I think that this is just going to be a rocket ship down the track now. You can have zero movement in that IRS cradle. It's it's bulletproof. Yeah, I'd say it's bulletproof. It's a good name for it, I think. Now, also very, very important, your subframe bolts, 129 pound-feet of torque they need to be torqued to. Don't skip that. It's with a 21. 19 head bolts to the front of the cradle. You can see there it's 80 pound-feet. And then uh, 40 for the other right there as listed. So don't skip this stuff. Uh, I probably do need an alignment after this, maybe. Again, I'm going to wait for springs. We'll have to tear all this apart and redo it again. But, you know, so speaking of which... I probably would do springs at the very same time that you do this. It would just make life a whole lot easier. But, you know, for the purposes of YouTube and showing every individual part and product and the progression of, of this car, I think that it's necessary that we go step by step. But this is how it all looks. I think it's fantastic. I think that you should buy it. Use promo code Xander7. I'll link it all down below. And once again, this is how it looks. I love it. Absolutely love it. Awesome. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap up this video. I need to put the rest of it back together to work everything to spec. And then we're going to do a follow-up review, uh, driving review with both of those kits, with the CB010 and the 762, and let you know how I feel about it on the road. You know, do we have any NVH? Do we have any, you know, pops, creeks, anything like that? You know, I'll definitely follow up and let you guys know. So stay tuned for those videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. I definitely appreciate it. It helps us grow, and we like doing this kind of stuff. So I know it's a lengthy video, but, you know, we do try to keep it as detailed as possible.